ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಅಭಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪುನತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ಪಂಥೆ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂ ಕರುಷ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾವದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ವೇಶ್ಯಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ್ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 
नाहम इज्जा प्रजाति भ्यम तपसोपसमी न वा तुष्यम सर्वभूतात्मा गुरु सुस्वसया यथा नाहम इज्जा प्रजाति भ्यम तपसो उपसमी न वा तुष्यम सर्वभूतात्मा गुरु सुस्वसया यथा गौरिया गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड नथिंग मोर अस्पिशियस देन गुरु सेवा गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड नथिंग मोर अस्पिशियस देन गुरुपाद पद्म सेवा By Guru Pad Padma Seva, we can get absolute benefit in our life. By no other means, all our effort to do bhajan this way, that way, all your donations, circumambulance, chanting Hari Nam, doing Ekadasi, everything cannot give perfect result. If you are successful to do Sadguru Seva perfectly, I mean, if you can satisfy Guru Pat Padma, then it is the topmost success in your life. Nothing else. Point is that common people, those who are common people, general people, even those who are so-called devotees, those who are common people, okay. those who are so called so called devotees they all want to be controlled by maya i mean they want to be controlled by their own whimsical attitude they want to be controlled by their own whimsical attitude that's mean they want to be controlled by maya everybody who not i cannot spare in body but those who are very intelligent intelligent in the sense those who understand life is unstable only for two days we are living in this material world when how we can go away from this material world there is no guarantee <coughs> those who have this kind of idea they always want to be controlled by supreme divinity they always want to be controlled by supreme divinity that's mean they always want to be controlled by guru vishnu ultimately we are controlled by supreme divinity okay but we can see guru vishnu in this material world those who are going to take they, those who are going to take care of us those who are really intelligent they want to be controlled by supreme divinity they never want to lead their fanciful life <coughs> in the life everybody want to enjoy liberty <coughs> who not everybody want to lead lover they want to enjoy liberty if you ask anybody nobody can say i want to be controlled by something somebody everybody can say we want liberty even a beast even a bird what to speak about human being a bird if you put inside a cage always want to fly away nobody want <coughs> everybody want liberty everybody want liberty everybody means all jivatma there inside they want to enjoy liberty in true sense in sarup of jiva there is liberty in sarup of jiva there is eternal liberty that's why naturally everybody like to enjoy liberty nobody like to die why because there is no question of death with your atma if you if somebody put in question that why people don't like to die why nobody like to die why 
why nobody like to die? Why? My question is why they can like to die? Because death is not there. Death is, death is not there in their sarup. In their sarup, there is no death. Only they are going to change their body. That's why they don't. In sarup, there is, you know, Im, uh, mort, uh, no, immortality. In sarup, there is immortality. So they don't like to die. Similarly, in the sarup of jiva, there is liberty. Now, what do you mean by liberty? You think liberty mean? You think liberty mean? There should not be any controller. I like to lead my life fancy. That is your liberty. You put question in front. You want liberty, but what is the actual meaning of liberty inside your heart? Liberty means there should not be no controller. I can do whatever I like. That is your liberty. That's mean. That's mean your liberty mean. That's mean your liberty. What you think liberty? That's mean it is not liberty. Your your meaning of liberty means you are under Maya. It is not liberty. So in Bengali, one verse is there. Shadi nota hi nota hai ke bachi the chai hai ke bachi the chai. Who want to live without liberty? Everybody want to enjoy liberty, but nobody understand the meaning of liberty. In this material world. The maximum, the maximum most, uh, the maximum most, you know, meaning, maximum most inner meaning of liberty, maximum most in this material world, not in transcendent world. In this civil, in this material world, civilized, you know, civilization, in this civilization. What is the maximum most extended meaning of liberty? You know, liberty means, liberty means curtailment of your own right. Liberty means curtailment of your own rights for the sake of others so that mutual interest can be protected and final goal can be attended. Don't understand. This is the meaning, this is the maximum most fine. Um, a topmost meaning of liberty in this civilized in this civilized world, material world, human civilization. Liberty means curtailment of your own right for the sake of others, so that mutual interest can be protected and final goal can be attained. What do you mean? Liberty means curtailment of your own right. You own right mean? Your fanciful attitude, you should cut. Here you see, suppose your mother is very hard present, is very, very heavy condition. Your neighbors, they are going to play one mic, mic you know, sound box, very heavily. Doom, 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 very heavily. You are going to request that neighbors, please, my mom, my mother is, you know, sick, hard present, please you play. I am not going to hear you. I have a function. I can play. Whatever you like to do, you do. They think liberty means whatever you like, fancifully you do. This is the meaning of their liberty. If you ask one man, don't smoke there in the boat. Huh? Why? We can, bo we can smoke. Follow this. They are not going to obey. But at least in this respect, at least in this respect, you know, Outside country, especially Arabian country, they have very strict rules. Very strict rules. If you, if you steal something, you can cut your hand. Cut your hand. At least. Oh, follow. So they think liberty means whatever we like, we can do. Nobody going to check us. That is the meaning of the liberty of those idiot people. But actual meaning? As per this material standard, I told you, you will have to curtail on your fanciful attitude so that nobody can feel disturbance. You know? Nobody can feel disturbance for you, you know? It should be very mutually. 
and final what to what do mean mutual you know curtailment of your own rights for the sake of others so that mutual interest can be protected your interest and my interest can be protected so nobody going to disturb others and final goal as a whole of the country final goal as a whole as a whole the final goal of the country i mean prosperity of the country can be attained follow final goal follow there is a mean but actual meaning inner meaning of liberty means to get rid of maya actual meaning of liberty means to get rid of maya when maya not going to disturb you anymore when maya not going to disturb you anymore you are free you are enjoying liberty from maya that's mean you are you are enjoying liberty from maya that's mean you are going to put yourself under the control of guru vishnu follow when we are going to enter into eternal world when we are going to enter into eternal world there there also we want to be under the control of our gurudev guru bargo there eternal our anugatha eternal anugatha not that today tomorrow up to 5 years i can do not that even when you live our body we can go there eternal world there we can serve bhagwan under the guidance of guru vishnu rupa goshi paswanathan goshi mahas all everybody they are going to so this that is called actual liberty that's mean you can have the chance to serve bhagwan from your heart that is called liberty now the shloka i started with it is actually from sudhavi pro topics you know bhagavatam bhagwan speaking to sudhavi pro naham ijya prajati bhyam tapaso upasame nava tushyam sarva bhutatma guru susa saya jatha naham ijya prajati bhyam ijya min ursi i am not feeling satisfaction i am not feeling as much satisfaction as uh, i can get through guru seva naam ijja prachap prajati by worshiping by by grihastha dharma naam ijja prajati bham prajati bham mean prajati bham if you are going to live with your children wife everything huh? naam ijja prajati bham or you can say varna sandarbha also naam ija praja tapasho posame nava by austerities and penances oposame nava bolo tusse am sarva bhutatma guru sosso saya jata i am getting satisfaction complete satisfaction by guru seva guru sosso sanam jata as much as satisfaction i am getting through guru seva that much satisfaction i can get through you know tapasya apasa upasameno ijja prajati parno so guru seva is the topmost thing nothing can be compared with guru seva guru seva you have general meaning of guru seva you have a common general meaning of guru seva what do you think guru seva mean my maharaj i can guru seva mean maharaj i can cook for gurudev i can wash clothes for gurudev ha huh? for gurudev i can clean the room i can serve gurudev prasadam this is your conception most of the people think guru seva mean whatever seva uh, need i can do they they are general meaning it is called general meaning but actual guru seva mean to carry out the order of gurudev you forget okay i can i can wash uh, you know cloth i can clean room i can cook something that's okay it's general guru seva okay but i am not sure but i am not sure that 
By this seva, Gurudev is feeling satisfaction or not? If you are really intelligent in bhajan field, you must try to consider this point. If I think, I am collecting huge amount of money, oh, Guru was, Gurudev is very satisfied with me. If you think so, you are collecting money, huge amount of money. Oh, so much money. Gurudev must be very happy. But you have no idea. Gurudev never feeling shortage of money. You think I am collecting money, so Gurudev happy. You think I can uh, speak in front of public, I can give lecture in front of public, Guru Mahal must be very happy. But you, you have no information about, about the heart of Gurudev. So many people we have seen, so many so-called devotees, they can speak so nicely in front of audience. They can get clapping. Ah, so nice. They can collect huge amount of money from outside. Follow. They are writing so much article in Gauriya Patika here, there. They are thinking, oh, Gurudev is very happy with me. But they have no information about the in you know about the heart of Guru Padma. Yesterday I told you, na. Whereas big, big devotees, they think, we are doing so much seva, you know, a Pohupat, Pohupat must be very happy. But wonder. One seva, illiterate, is very happy with Pohupat. I am very happy with, you know, Pohupat is very happy with him. So, it is very difficult to understand the heart of pure Guru Vaishnava. How, when, which way, they can be satisfied. Very secrecy. So, if I explain Guru Seva, if I want to get the ex exact explanation of Guru Deva, if I like to explain the exact explanation of Guru Seva, then I will have to speak that to carry out the order of Guru Padma exactly is Guru Seva. To give full satisfaction to Guru Padma. Follow. There is no order on, on me. There is no order. Guru Mahal is not giving any order to me. Guru Mahal is not giving any order to me. I am doing any seva. Okay, okay, I am doing. But when Gurudev is giving any special order to somebody, and he is successful to carry out that order, that is a very... That is... So, in true sense, the meaning of Guru Shava means to carry out the order of Guru Padma. In general meaning, to do something from Guru Dev is Guru Seva. It is a general meaning. To do something for Guru Dev, Guru Seva is a general meaning. But actually, inner meaning means to carry out the order of Guru Padma perfectly. It's called Guru Shava. And if you are successful to carry out the order of Guru Padma, then be sure that you are going to get Kripa from Guru Padma. Even sometime Guru Padma is not giving you order. Even sometime Guru Padma is not giving you order. But, but if you are so much harmonized with Guru Padma, Guru Padma is not giving any order. Suppose he is not giving order. But you are so clever, you are so harmonized with Guru Padma, even you can understand the heart of Guru Padma, you are doing according. That is very dear. Follow. First category, first category, they can do flat seva, flat seva. First category, flat seva, okay, in general they are doing. Second category, according to order of Guru Padma, they are going to carry out the order. Second category. Third category, third category is the topmost category, even not order. Even not order. You can realize Gurudev like this. I can give you one example, then you can realize very easily. At the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, at the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 
राजा प्रताप रुद्धो राजा प्रताप रुद्धो द ग्रेट डिवोटी ऑफ चैतन्य महापुर राजा प्रताप रुद्धो लाइक टू सर्व चैतन्य महाप्रभु राजा प्रताप रुद्धो लाइक टू सर्व चैतन्य महाप्रभु फ्रॉम हार्ट एंड सोल ऑल एवरीथिंग बाय बॉडी स्पीच एंड माइंड एवरीथिंग नॉट ओनली बॉडी स्पीच एंड माइंड ऑल प्रॉपर्टी वॉट एवर बिलोंगिंग्स वॉट एव वॉट एवर दे आर ऑल डेडिकेटेड फॉर द सेवा ऑफ चैतन्य महाप्रभु इवन हिज किंगशिप इवन हिज किंगशिप किंगशिप is also for chaitanya map like yudhishthir ma his kingship is also for krishna satisfaction of krishna you cannot even imagine how possible yudhishthir ma is kingship is only for the service of krishna satisfaction of krishna less interest about it now raja pratap ruddho giving instruction to his servant that tomorrow is gundicha mandir manjan tomorrow gundicha mandir manjan whatever mahaprabhu need he must do and all throughout ratha yatra all the time it is my standing instruction that whatever mahaprabhu want to do he must help him and even when mapu not asking suppose mapu not asking but still we have to realize what mapu need follow what i say still when mapu not asking anything right pratapruddha speaking well well mapu pratapruddha speaking to servant be careful when mapu not asking anything but you realize that he need you have to do immediately sometime it happens so like the case of vinodha like the case of sridhar goshi maharaj like the case of madhav goshi maharaj even without asking even without asking even without asking without any instruction they are doing such seva they are going to enjoy full guru kripa full guru ji even popat not asking immediately according to situation according to situation it take us up now i have to do it for guru seva like kures who ramanujajjo namanujajjo ramanujajjo never gave any instruction to him ram try to understand one or two example i can give two or three ramanujajjo never wanted to give any an instruction regarding his personal protection ramanujaj never told but kures thought it necessary to take the dress of guru patpadma go to krimikantha in the uniform of guru patpad who told ramanujaj never told oh ho ramanujaj told or not never told has gone when that you know when himalayan hill sarada peet when that bodhan basho was stolen not stolen actually i cannot say the ramanujaj wanted to get bodhan basho but there is no bodhan basho ramanujaj said please give me bodhan basho let to there is no bodhan basho here okay night time when when sleeping nishinga dev appear when follow night time when everybody is sleeping nishinga dev appear well ashirva here you here you are here you are bodan basa take and go nishinga dev himself give it ha eh? nishinga dev himself give it oh my god a taken and wishing of the go away go away, fly gone but four gunda hooligan four gunda in the midway they are running running and running where to catch them because hilly place because hilly place there is no alternative 
Hilly place, no one, one has to follow this route. Where you can go? They are sloping down, jungle, you know, great danger. One has to follow the same road. So they, they are sure that we can catch. For seven days they are running, running, four gundas. They to catch. And fight with them, we to snatch Bodha and Baksha. Try to remember what I say. Bodha and Baksha taken away. Bodha and Baksha taken away. But to do? When Bodha and Baksha took it away, Mother Chacho feeling sad. Well, Bodha and Baksha gone. I wanted to consult or wanted to compile the Vaishya, Vedanta Vaishya, Sri Vaishya. Vedanta Vaishya, Sri Vaishya, Sri. Kure speaking, don't worry, Gurudev. Kure speaking, don't worry, Gurudev. But why? But I memorize all. Eh? You memorize all. I memorize all. I can, I can give you in writing. Yeah, really. Yes. Intact. Without failure, dot, full stop, dot, full stop, hyphen, nothing missing. Kure's writing. Now my question is that, Ramanujajya told Kure's to memorize? Oh, yes or not, he's done speaking, foolish. <laughs> Never told. Never told. This kind of seva is excellent seva. Ramanujajya is going to sell himself. Ramanujajya wanted to sell himself to his disciple Kures. Now I am, now I am bound to say, who is Kures? He is Ramanujo. Who is Ramanujo? He is Kures. Yes or not? Siddhanta. Who is Ramanujo? He is Kures. Who is Kures? He is Ramanujo. And also in their sampradaya. And also in the Sampadai, oh, and also in the Sampadai, they are reading one document. They, they want this. They speak this. That Ramanujajyo is Lakshman avatar. They speak. Ramanujajyo is Lakshman Angsha. Kures is Ram Angsha. Kures is Ram Angsha. In their Sampadai, they say. I am not speaking. They say. Ramanujajya is Ramanujaj Lakshman Deshik. Ramuna Raman Rama Ram Anu Ajari. Ramanujaj. Ramanu Ramanujajaj. It's called Ram Anujo. Mani younger. Ram Anujo. I mean Lakshman. That avatar is Ramanujaj. And Kures is Ramanusha. But anyway, I'll give you this example. So whatever preaching done by Gosai Maharaj. Srila Bhana Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Bodhisattva Maharaj, all by the power of Prabhupada for me. They never thought we are preaching. They never thought, they never thought, they never thought. They think in everything done by Prabhupada, we are sitting. It should be the mood of a perfect disciple. How to understand a perfect, how to understand a perfect disciple? That even after doing huge amount of seva, even after doing huge amount of seva, if you cannot discover any false ego inside the heart of the disciple, even after doing so much seva, then you can see his Guru Seva. And Bhakti Muttaku writing in Bhajan Rasa, Hoilyo Sarvagune Guni Mahashoy Patishthasa Teji Karo Amani Hidhoy. In Bengali, Hoilyo Sarvagune Guni Mahashoy Pratishthasa teji karo amani hidai. Hoilo sarvaguni guni mahasai mane. Though he is decorated with different qualities. Though he is decorated with different qualities, very beautiful qualities. All oh, excellent qualities. But he has no desire to get one drop of pratishtha. Even there no smell of personal pratishtha. No smell. Bhakti Muttaku writing the exact meaning. Hoilo sar, though he is superior, though he is superior to all, in the mind, though he is superior to all, he is the main Guru Seva, I can do everything. But never think. I, what I have done? Nothing done. Hoilo sarva guni maasai, patishtha sathaji kar amani hidai. 
Amani, no need of any pratishtha, honor, position, nothing. So you understand, no? This way, this is called Guru Shevak. Such Guru Shevak, such Guru Shevak on this earth is almost rare. Such Guru Shevak on this earth is almost rare who without getting an instruction directly from Guru Padma, getting inspiration to do different kind of seva, I mean Gurudev giving inspiration inside heart. Externally no instruction. Hold. This way all of our Guru Bhargava, I mean Paramita Kesha Goswami Maharaj, Paramita Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Bhana Goswami Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Bhama Turga they are all done. Such, such, an, such an exalted devotee, such an exalted devotee, very, very famous devotee. Famous mean? Famous mean he is famous mean he is number one Guru Shiva. This is just famous. He is Bhakti Mayuk Bhagavad Goswami Maharaj. Yesterday I told perhaps you have no information about him. But today I am speaking. Yesterday I told perhaps you have no information about him. But today I am speaking, you have no information about him. Foolish. Because I know you don't know. You should know. You should know to make a you know progress, to make prog you know make progress in your bhajan. You must know. His name is Bhakti Mayuk Bhagavad Goswami Maharaj. I like to speak something about him. That Bhakti Mayuk Bhagavad Goswami Maharaj, he took birth in Eka Chakra place. Ekchakra is money, it is Ekchakra Graham, just near Ekchakra, is it? Hello. Ekchakra area. Ekchakra area, I went there long ago, maybe 16 years back, uh, 14 years back, maybe. One, one time, for one time I went. That place. Almost Ekchakra, but the village is different. Ekchakra area, Dhamma, Ekchakra Dhamma, but the name of the village is uh, Sripur or you can say Chinpari. Name of the village is Chinpari. Follow. That village is very rich place. I mean, almost everybody of that village is rich man. No, poor is not almost nil and their financial condition is good i told there one family was there and i mean the father is name of this father ram sankar mukhopadhyay mukherji ram sankar mukherji his name his name is ram, ram sankar mukherji is very very, you know, powerful Brahman and he married with one lady, is you know, uh, his name is Sam Kamini Devi, Sam Kamini Devi, in name. Very good lady, of, from a high family. But finally what happens, <coughs> they are going to lead their family life, I mean, Ram Sankar Mukherji Mukhopadhyay marry with that lady. Follow and leading family life. In the meantime, he thought it necessary to establish one Shiva Mandir. He thought it necessary to establish one Shiva Mandir in a very uh, perfect way so that everybody can get benefit. Everybody can give water, this, that. So he established one Shiva Mandir. And the time, and the time when he established Shiv Mandir, uh, more or less within the one year, within the one year from one within one year from the date of establishment establishment of the temple, within one year from the date of the establishment of the temple, 
he uh, got one baby boy within one year the day established within one year he got one boy very nice boy very powerful when the boy took birth it seemed it's like you know portrait at all nice all village men coming the boy is appearances like that appearance of the boy can speak the appear, the appearance of the boy can speak he will be great devotee his eyes his brain his body going to speak that he will be a great devotee so okay anyway so ram shankar mukhopadhyay i mean father he thought it must be so it it must be so that by the mercy of shankar bhagwan i get this boy so he is going to uh, keep the name of the boy is a uh, Shankar Lal, Shankar Lal, Shankar Lal, Mukhopadhyay. I mean, Bhakti Mayuk Bhagavad Gosi Maharaj. His previous name, home name, nickname, home name was Shankar Lal Mukhopadhyay. And the boy miracle from very childhood is very much interested to hear kirtan, this that. When growing up. his brain his intuition is brain his efficacy his tranquility going to prove that he is a, is a sadhu from 5 6 years 7 years boy he is not going to take uchishta from anybody follow how a small boy can if somebody even if somebody is plate suppose somebody or taken prasad his plate you take in this way no i cannot take he not going to touch the bed of anybody a small small boy who 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 taught him he is not going to touch anybody's bed anybody's cloth anybody's gamcha eh prasadam play no in front of public he don't like to take prasadam he like to take very secretly who teach him naturally so the boy growing up he complete baker and everything what a child you know education a child is education all complete everything he was admitted in a school but in school you know his schooling was done in the village primary schooling but the teacher all the teachers there all the boys among all the teacher among all the boys among all the boys in the school he was a remarkable personality in a school so many boys hundreds of boys but he was a remarkable personality in school was small boy so the teachers they used to love him very much the teacher they used to even the headmaster headmaster of the school sometimes used to carry the small boy in his home headmaster who is the headmaster Used to carry that boy home. Hey, you go to my house. In house, they used to give some sweet milk, everything to the boy. <laughs> Headmaster used to carry that boy to his school. Follow. I can also remember my headmaster used to keep me in the left. Hand. You sit here, and my voice was very heavy from childhood. So the headmaster used to joke. Ah, oh. <laughs> headmaster used to joke. my boys was heavy <laughs> from childhood so headmaster used to joke with me he used to take my hair handwriting was good now handwriting very bad that time handwriting was very good anyway so this way the boy complete his uh, education i mean primary education then secondary education he was admitted he was admitted in a very nice school and is going to complete he is going to complete his you know in school is called at present you can it's called 10 plus 2 system but that time it was 11 matriculation in our in our time we appear in examination 10 plus 2 i mean 1 2 3 4 10 plus 2 i mean 11 12 
But that time, it was not like that. After completing 10, final one exam, I mean matriculation. Matriculation. Now, at present system, in our system, in our time, uh, from 1 to 10, plus 2, after that you can go to college. After that you can go and join college. But that time it was the system, after completing matriculation exam, you will have to step into college or, you know, college education. So, he was very successful to pass, you know, very successful. But, very sorry, very sorry, at the age of 11, when the boy was 11, I am going up and down. Now I am going back. When, when he was only 11 years of old, father died. When he was only 11 years old, father already gone from this world. When he was only 13 years old, mother already gone from this So father, mother all gone. No brother, no uncle, nothing, no, who can take care of the boy? Follow. Who can take care of the boy? Big problem. All rem uh, remote, remote relatives, they are coming and putting pressure on him. He will have to marry. Who can take care of you? Because that time, at that time, it was the system at the age of 8, 10, 11, 12, Father, mother, they used to arrange marriage for you. So what to do? They forcefully give marriage. You are very small boy. Nobody there to take care. At least your father-in-law, I mean, uh, you know, I mean the father of wife can take care. So marriage, for you. marriage done. Oh my God! He never wanted to marry, but they force him. You will have to marry. But after that, ma father gone, mother gone. Somehow education going, but still this matriculation ex exam was after. Money, father gone, mother gone. After that he appeared, after that he appeared in matriculation. Because matriculation, you can appear at the age of max, at the age of 15. Matriculation, you can appear at the age of 15. 14 or 15, but before their father gone, follow, what to do? But the matriculation exam was very good. He, he, he passed in the examination first division with all letter marks. Letter marks, you know, in all subject letter marks, more than 80, 80, 80 percent. More than 80 percent marks he got, all he passed matriculation with very, very, Powerful. After that, what to do? He wanted to take admission in college, but uh, college, but no father, no mother, no financial assistance, nobody going to give. So he tried his way, he took admission. He tried his best to complete you know, graduation. But the financial condition was so poor, so poor. Nobody ready to help him. He was bound to stop his education in the, in the midway. He started doing graduation, but what to do? Nobody gave him. So poor condition of that. Anyway, there is wife. And there is wife. After that, within short period, he got children. I mean, one boy, a daughter, I mean, there is God. Then a heavy burden. What to do? Who can manage this? In the meantime, he was feeling detachment after father mother gone. He was feeling very much detachment because in front of eyes watching father gone. In front of eyes mother gone. Oh, what is the surety of this life? No stability of this life. So he took decision to do bhajan. But how I can do bhajan? I need one guru. He is thinking over and again. He is thinking over and again, how to get Guru, where I can get Guru. I never been out of my, eh, out of my village, I never gone out of my village. How I know? Day and night he is praying in front of Sankar Bhagavan, 
or you know Gauranga, oh Prabhu, you guide me, I need one guru. He was feeling very anxiety. He was feeling extreme anxiety to take to get guru, to get spiritual guidance. Almost mad. One day in the dream, one day in the dream Prabhupada appeared. One day in the dream Prabhupada appeared. And somebody indicating, this is your guru. Somebody, Prabhupada is standing with Danda. And somebody indicating, this is your guru. You can get his guru. Then you said, dream, you know, broken. Well, after that, I saw my guru. I am searching my guru. He is so merciful that he appeared in front of me. Oh my God! Then surely I can get my Guru. But how I can get? But he, because he is not going to... Gurudev appeared in dream, but he didn't tell me address where he is. He appeared in my dream, but why, how I can know what is the address of my Guru? How I can go? Oh my God, Prabhu, how I can go? In the meantime, when he is crying, in the meantime, early in the morning, when he is doing some... Brahman, they are Brahman, na? They are, at least they are going, because I forget to tell you, at the age of eight, his Brahmin initiation was done. They are fa Brahmin family, na? at the age of eight, Brahman initiation done. And at the age of eight, he could pronounce, he could pro pronounce all Sanskrit words and everything so accurately, they are very strange. Very small boy, eight years, he used to do Brahma Gayatri, this, that. So he is chanting. In the meantime, somebody is going to knock the door. Knock the door. He opened the door. Somebody coming and speaking. This is a picture. This is one picture. Somebody sent. Eh? Who sent? Somebody sent the picture of Gurudev, Bhakti Siddha Saraswati. He to stand. <laughs> he gone mad. Eh? Who sent? Well, some devotee staying in the saying that village, he is sending me, sending me to give this picture to you. Oh, really? He opened the gate and discovered that the picture of Popa. I saw, I saw this Gurudev in dream. I come on, I saw this Gurudev in dream. Who sent this picture? That Prabhu. He ran immediately to that Prabhu. He immediately learned. Prabhu, you said this picture to me? Yes. You know him? Oh, I know him. I am his disciple. Oh, really? Maharaj asking, I mean Sankar Lal Mukhubadda, Sankar Lal asking, you know, you know him, you send me this picture? Are you what to know? He is my Gurudev. Oh, really? He is your Gurudev? Yes. I saw him dream. Oh, I like to go and meet him. Well, wait. In Gaur Purnima, I can go. You can go with me. My Guru Pat Padma Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur already established one mat, is Chaitanya mat. Yogopi there. You can go with me. How powerful my Guru Pat Padma is, transcendental figure. Well, I am waiting. I am waiting. When Gaur Purnima? Very shortly. Very shortly, within one or two months, while he is waiting. After that, at the time of Guru Purnima, before Guru Purnima, they took initiation, they took initiative to go reach Mayapur. But in the meantime, that man was sick. The man said, come on, I am sick, so I cannot go. I cannot go, I am very sick. Oh my God. How I can go? Oh, you can go, if you like. He took decision to go himself. Though, never go, though he never gone out of village, but he took decision to go alone to Gurudev. He took train, came to you know, Navadi from there, Mayapur, finally got. But at the time of Gaur Purnim, there is nobody going to 
put any question to you, everybody allowed to stay. All outside people coming, he is also. I have no uh, idea how to, I have no idea how to talk with my Guru Padma. Even I am a very small, poor boy, who can take me in front of him? I am foolish. How I can talk with this exalted personality? Let me wait. Let me see. And he is hearing Harikatha, Prabhupada speaking. Prabhupada speaking Harikatha, Bhakti Siddhanta says, he is hearing Harikatha. But how to talk with him? I am very small boy. How I can speak? I come to meet with you. I cannot speak. How to? How to meet? How to take initiation? Harikatha is over. He is wandering. He is wandering in the temple, Jogopit here, there, and thinking what to do. How to go in front of Guru Padma? Is my Guru Padma? Eh? Eh? How to go? In the meantime, what happens? He heard some devotees discussing among themselves. Some devotees, they are discussing among themselves about their initiation. Oh, Gaurapurnim day, uh, Gaurapurnim day, some devotees, they are, they are going to give their name in the list of Harinam, Diksha, everything. Follow. But he fearing. When he is asking that the list is already completed, no, no list is already completed. He is foolish. Now, how I know? List, they already told the list is already completed. They submit, they already submit the list. But my name is not there in list. Anyway, when in the morning time he discovered that all devotees are saving their head to take Diksha and Harina, he thought, okay, let, I, have, I, have, I can also save my head. Let me see what happens. Because Gurudev appeared in my dream. Maybe he can automatically come in my life. So let me save. He is also saving, getting one dhoti and going in front of, in front of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu line, you know, queue. In queue, everybody is sitting one by one, you know, can go inside room. Popad is there in the hall. And in the meantime, he is thinking, my name is Lord in the list. So the Sevak was in, Sevak asking the name, this, you know, Ramcharan Chatterji, yes, you go. Second, somebody, he's thinking, he cannot call my name, my name is not there. But he is very, with full anxiety, he is thinking, oh, my God, Gurudev, what to do, my name is. In the meantime, Prabhupada, after giving initiation to the first man, after giving initiation to the first man, according to list, Popa looking at this uh, Shankar Lal Mukhavadha. You like to take Harinam? Yes, yes, I like to take Harinam. You come. You come to me. Then other man shouting, Popa, his name is not there in the list. How you call him? Eh? Even his name is not there in the list. Uh, we don't know who is he. Who knows who is he? Popat from inside thinking, you need not play your head. From inside room, those very important but the rich man, important. Popat, we don't know his identity. Popat from inside, you need not play your head. You need not play your head, it is my responsibility. So, but anyway, his name is not there in the list. Popat said, his name was there in the previous list. Popat said, his name was there in the previous list. Somehow he was mistaken. So he come. <laughs> Miracle is calling him, giving Harinam, Diksha, bless. Harinam, Diksha, Dan. He is just seeking how possible Gurudev you know, can identify me and give me Diksha. Oh my God. Ever grateful. After that, for some days, after Gopurnima over, some days he stayed, he stayed in Chaitanya Bhad, Jokvit here, there to, to, to hear Harikatha from him. Finally, because he was Grihastha, because he was Grihastha, he was bound to go back to his village. He was bound to go back to his village after, after taking Diksha, doing Harinam, chanting, earning everything, all rules and regulations perfect. But he is day by day thinking, Oh Gurudev, 
How I can get respite of this family trap? Oh, Gurudev, how I can get respite of this family trap? Please save me. In the meantime, boys and girls, they are growing up, he is thinking what to do. Someday he took decision, well, I can cut this material bondage, I can cut this material bondage and go away to serve Prabhupada forever. He lived without speaking to anybody, he gone to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Prabhupada, you accept me, I like to do your seva. Well, you can say. Prabhupada engaged him in Nodhya Prakash, editing everything, different kind of, you know, editing job. He uh, is educated now, very educated, very sharp brain. Very nice. He is doing. Popat gives the whole responsibility of printing and everything in, on his soldier, on his head. This person. He is doing everything. But previously, it was the system for the publication of Nadia Prakas. Uh, he, used, he used to accept some donation from Popat. After two months, three months, people were so impressed, impressed by his conduct, behavior, his writing, his representation, that everybody coming and giving, said, Prabhu, you keep some money for the publication of you. Everybody giving. But at that time, it was very cheap. Follow. Now, if you go for publication, you will have to pay for a very small book. He left to 1,000 copies, 30,000 minimum. But that time only 1,000 or 500, 500 rupees. Wow, so much paper you can. Even not 500. I'm speaking maximum. So this kind of unusual, this kind of unusual, unexpected donation used to come. Unusual, unexpected donation used to come to him, used to keep it. He is not asking any money from Prabhupada. Prabhupada is asking, uh, you are not asking money from me? Uh, Prabhupada, by your mercy, somebody uh, uh, putting some money. Okay, okay, very nice. You go on doing very nice. You please bless me so that I can get your kipa. I know I want nothing from you. In the meantime, all village men, they make a group. They make a group to bring back this man to village, anyway he is married. How he can go away? They make a group and they are going to meet Prabhupada in Calcutta Goryamat. Calcutta Goryamat, Gauri Mission. That time Prabhupada was there. Here they are going to speak the all painful situation of the family life. All painful situation. There is no money. His father gone 11, at the age of 11, mother gone at the age of 13, no family, family man, no uncle, nothing. And he was bound to marry, and now children there, wife there, who can matter? <coughs> anyway, what to do? They are crying and crying, the village man. Then Prabhupada, what to do? Un, unwillingly, unwillingly, Prabhupada was bound to write one note. You take this letter and go to, you take this letter and go to that Brahmachari. The name of the Brahmachari I forget. The name of the Brahmachari I forget. Uh, uh, Shubho, Shubho Jitna like that, you know. Uh, his Brahmachari name. Shubhajit, like that, his Brahmachari name. So, uh, yes, after that what he, they are going, they are going to meet with, they are going to meet with Shubhajit Prabhu in Chaitanya Mahat and going to hand over, hand over the letter written by Prabhupada. Hand over the letter written by Prabhupada. Well, you can hand over the letter to him, he is reading. Prabhupada writing, Prabhu, this is the condition of your family, painful. So, you can, Prabhupada, nay, you, Prabhupada not writing, you must go back. Prabhupada, you can go back. Prabhupada writing, this is the painful situation of your family. Prabhupada writing, this is the painful situation of your family. You can go back to your village. 
It's right, so many. Then all village men crying in front of him. He was very, 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 very powerful. He started giving, giving argument, one by one. There is a reason for why I wanted to dedicate my life unto the lotus feet of their great Gurudev. Now you wanted to want to take me away. If I do bhajan here, all my family members they can get benefit. Mangao. Bhagwan can get Bhagwan can take responsibility of them. But if you forcefully take me, there is no mangal. Give nice, very soft, you know, very soft yet, very soft yet reasonable answer. Village man gone back. In the meantime, village man, village man gone back. In the meantime, village man gone back. In the meantime, Prabhupada coming to Maya, Chaitanya, Mayapur. And Prabhupada discovered Shubha Bilas. His name is Shubha Bilas. Now I remember. Shubha Bilas Bamuchari. Shubha Bilas Bamuchari. Follow. Shubha Bilas Bamuchari. Shubha Bilas Prabhu, you are not going to home? He is not speaking anything. He is shedding tears. Then Pope was running and going to embrace him very tightly. Pope was speaking. Pope was speaking. I wrote, I was bound to write one letter. I was bound to write one letter to you to go back to home. But that is what not, that was, that is, was not my heart. How you know? You are here. Even after my letter, you are going to ignore that letter, going to stay, understanding my heart. So I embrace you. Embrace. I bless you. So happy. Follow. Very happy. So this way, I don't, I, I like to speak so many things, but time cannot permit because another a devotee there, another Guru Bhargava. So finally what happens? Uh, he went on doing his own service. He went, he went on doing his own service very tactfully, very tasteful way. Tasteful way. Prabhupada was very happy with him, blessed him. Finally when Prabhupada went away from this material world, finally when, he, when Prabhupada went Away from this material world, at least two years he was there in the temple. At least two years. After that, some problems started. After that, some problems started. He took decision to go away uh, for different pilgrimage. After pilgrimage, I am going to cut short. Please excuse me. After pilgrimage, all India pilgrimage done. He wanted to go to his godbrother, his woman, uh, Bhudev Sauti Goswami Maharaj. He went. He went there to take shelter. And within one year complete, uh, he wanted to stay there. He took sannyas there in front of the picture of Prabhupada. In front of the picture of Prabhupada, he took sannyas. In front of the picture of Prabhupada, he took sannyas, but anyway, the sannyas mantra was given by Bhakti Buddha Shoti Maharaj. So, after taking sannyas, he started preaching, and uh, all village men and uh, ekshakra people, all ekshakra people, they wanted to request him that you, we are blind, please, why not you open our temple here? So, finally, he was. Uh, uh, bound to open one temple there in Chinpari. I mean, it is the area within the area of Ek Chakra. Bhagavad Ashram. Bhagavad Ashram, he was bound to, and then onward, he started making disciples one by one. So many temples in Birbhum, in Birbhum, and after that, Pulur, Pur, Purulia, Siuri, so many temples he started establishing. And uh, he is, uh, started doing Namsa. So many things I like to jump, actually. I like to jump. He was so powerful that even when he was there at home, when he was there at home, there was one epidemic, epidemic like Corona, you know, like Corona. 
there was an epidemic, big epidemic, cholera. So many people dying, so all people coming and taking shelter of this uh, Prabhu, Prabhu you arrange, we all are dying. After that, Prabhu told, let us go and do Sankirtan. Then they started Nam Sankirtan, then epidemic gone. One or two incident I can speak, I have no time, excuse me. One day, I mean, he was sent to Dakamot. He was sent to Dakamot by the time of Prabhupada, for some reason, Madhogorya Mat, he was sent. So while come back, there was one big launch accident. Accident mean there was big in cyclone. And the launch, you know, launch, you know, is almost going to capsize. Big accident. Thousands of people in the launch are crying and the uh, captain, captain, crew and captain of the launch declare that now it is out of our control, now it is out of our control, then you can pray to Supreme Lord. 100% sure we are going to die. But in that launch, the Subhajit Prabhu was there. He is sitting in one place and doing Harina. Everybody running, oh, they are shouting. But Subhajit Prabhu is not shouting, doing all doing Harina. Everybody asking, you are man? You are man or something else? Everybody crying, we are launch going to capsize, you are without any tension. What, what, what I can do with tension? What I can do? Anyway, what is going to happen, it will happen. No, I think you have some, you have some faith in something, in God. So please, why not you pray to Supreme Lord? Uh, you, they are going to all jump in his lotus feet. Oh, you please save us. They are crying. Oh, why, 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 why? All Muslim people, or Hindi people, or mixed population. You can go on chanting Mahamantra, what I am doing. My Gurudev is there, Gaurangam up. I can go on chanting, you go, all Muslim people also. Hare Krishna, Hare Muslim people. They are all shouting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. They started doing, half an hour over, after that cloud broken, cloud broken, sunshine, and everybody started laughing. Oh, our life already saved, only by your mercy, but not my mercy, my Guru Dev. Saved. Whereas the crew speaking, no, we are, no, we are not going to put any guarantee. 100%. Whereas that cloud, that storm, I mean cyclone, all gone, the weather become very nice, and the all people, they laughing and dancing. So much powerful. So much powerful, he was successful to open different uh, temples in different places. I don't like to speak anymore, to, because today, this day is a disappearance day, this tithi, not day. This tithi is a dis I mean, Dadasi tithi, Shapalaka the she previous day, is the perfect tithi that day. He left us on this matter. He was so powerful. Even my Guru Maj used to love him. Even my Guru Padma used to love him so much. So much. He used to go to take, because he was a very old man, he used to go. So powerful, Sadhu, Bhakti Mahal. Anyway, today is also the Tirobhaktiti of Bhakti Budev, Sautu Goswami Maharaj. Today is the, he took birth, I am going to cut short, excuse me, no time. You are not giving me sufficient time, what to do? So, he took birth at Bakura Chadna. One village, name of the village, Chadna, 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 C H A D N A, Chadna, in Bankura district. One time in my life, uh, now two time, one time I went previously, second two, uh, I went there, Chadna. That is the birthplace of Baru Chandidas. Chandidas, you heard the name of Chandidas? Vidyapati Chandidas. He took birth here. And you will have to Chadna, that place. He took birth. 
He was also Chattopadhyay Chatterjee. Ram Gopal. His name, his previous name was Ram Gopal Chatterjee. Educated man. Very, very powerful. So much educated. Having Sanskrit knowledge, Hindi knowledge, English knowledge, Bengali knowledge, Uriya knowledge, minimum five, six language. He has great Pandit. If you ask him to speak in Oriya, he can go on speaking. He can go on speaking. If you ask him Hindi, he can English, for Pandit, Sanskrit, Bangla. So, he joined Prabhupada. Uh, in the year in the year of thirteen hundred and uh, thirteen hundred thirty five, not 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 in a, as per Bengali Bengali calendar. I am speaking also because I am not speaking nineteen hundred something. I am speaking thirteen hundred thirteen hundred and thirty five. He came. He took Harinam Diksha. Papa watching. His Rena, his Bairagya. Popat watching his Bairagya. At the same time, Popat watching his profound knowledge. His profound knowledge in Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad. He was bars. From his very you know, previous life. Not that he came here and uh, reading Veda. No, previously. His Sanskar was very good. So, Popa took decision to give him sannyas within two years only. Not two years even. Not even complete two years. One and a half years maybe. Popa giving him sannyas. His name was Bhakti Bhudev Shauti Goswami Maharaj. Popa giving him responsibility to edit Patrika of, you know, a different Patrika, Bhagavad Patrika. In Hindi, Uriya, Bengali, he was the editor, giving responsibility. Sometime, you know, Hindi editing, Bengali, Uri, you know, Hindi, so many and distributing, Uriya. And Prabhupada wanted to give him different seva of Patna Goryamat, Lakhno Goryamat, Ilahavad Goryamat, you know, you heard? You don't know. All over India, Prabhupada established in so many mart. In Patna Gauri Mart, follow. Patna Gauri Mart, Gaya Gauri Mart, Gaya Gauri Mart, Patna Gauri Mart, follow. Gaya Gauri Mart, Patna Gauri Mart. After that, you know, Varanasi Gauri Mart, Sanatan Gauri Mart in Varanasi. After that, you can find Elihavad Goryamat. Papa is giving so much responsible seva. Papa is giving so much responsible seva to him. He was both expert and held was very big. When somebody asking him to do the installation seva of deity, follow. He need not consult book. Two men. One is Bhakti Budev Shoti Maharaj and another is Bhakti Gaurav Vaikhanas Goswami Maharaj. Both of them, if you ask him to install deity, they are not consulting book. All, all they can remember. Hey, going on. Miracle. So most of the temple established by Devananda Gauri Maharaj, I mean Kesav Goswami Maharaj, most of the temple established by Keshav Goswami Maharaj, all installation ceremony was done by Bhakti Budev Shoti Goswami Maharaj. And most of the temple of Srila Bhakti Vidya Madhu Goswami Maharaj, installation of deities uh, was done by Srila Bhakti Pumatpuri Goswami Maharaj, either by Bhakti and by uh, Vaikhanas Goswami Maharaj. Both of them. This way, he used to serve Popat very. Popat used to send him uh, at different places for preaching because he was a very powerful man, no? educated man, very powerful man. Finally, when Popat gone due to some problem, he took decision to open one jargam, jargam, 
Gauranga Math, Jhargam. Jhargam is one place, if you are going to Tatanagar, you know Tatanagar? You don't know, one place. If you go to Jamsetpur, Tata, many times I went. Not in the temple, due to some official job previously. Uh, Jamsetpur, Tata, then Jhargam first come, Jhargam first come, after that you can go. Through Jargam you can go. Jamsetpur, Tata. In the, in, in the midway, you can meet Jargam. And now it's a very important place. Jargam previously was a forest. Jargam previously was a forest. But at present, it's a very important city. And there you can find Jargam Engineering College. Jargam Engineering College. So, Bhakti Bodhi, Bhakti Bodhi Shroti Goswami established not so many temples. One temple at Jargam, one temple at Jansetpur Tata, and one or two or three. But most of the time, he used to write and read and write everything, and he used to preach Harikatha, very powerful man. And uh, all devotees, they, most of the time, they used to request him to, for the installation, for the, for the installation of deity, etc. They used to invite him, but it's very ritual, all ritualistic, like Jagya, installation of deities, different, was very expert. And also in Harikatha, his writing is very good. I Also, I have some books written by him, also one or two. Anyway, they're very powerful. Uh, they're not ordinary men. Now you think of it, if they are ordinary men, if they are foolish, then how Prabhupada took decision to give sannyas within one and a half year? Prabhupada is not foolish. Prabhupada is not foolish. Prabhupada can realize the detachment there. Prabhupada can look at you now, can understand what is detachment there or not. You cannot be foolish. So they are not ordinary. You cannot ignore them. You have no right to ignore them simply because they never went to foreign country. That's why you can throw them out. What is your judgment? What is your judgment? It's not good. They are preaching us very nice preaching, a very good devotee. They wanted to install all the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu among devotees. Maybe they never gone, uh, went to foreign country. So, this is not a yardstick. This is not a judgment. Anyway, so, Actually, Bhakti Budev Shauti Goswami Maharaj took birth as same tithi of Prabhupada. Miracle. Prabhupada took birth na Magi Panchami. Follow. So, uh, Shukla Panchami, we are worshipping Saraswati. And dark, dark panchami, we are worshipping Popat. Follow. Follow. Anyway, so, uh, a same day, when Popat took birth, the same tithi, Bhakti, Bhudev, Sauti Goswami also took birth on this earth, same tithi. But today is the day when he left his body, leaving us gone from this world. We pray unto the lotus feet of Bhakti Budev Shauti Goswami Maharaj and unto the lotus feet of the great devotee and you know, Bhakti Mayuk Bhagavad Goswami Maharaj to bless us, help us, so that we can make a sizable progress in our bhajan track. Naham Ijya, Naham Ijya Prajati Bhyam Tapaso Upasamenava to say, I'm Sarva Bhutatma, Guru Susso Sayajata, Vancha Kalpatur was a kipas in the Bhavaja, but it an unpavan and Bhavishna of Yono. So, whole world, they have no idea about our Guru Bhav. No idea. They have no, nobody knows. How strange, how powerful our Guru Bhav go, they have no knowledge. So, we like to glorify them. So that whole world can at least can have some information about all those exalted devotees in our Guru Bhagavad. Okay.